afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Top of Time with Harrison Young. On this beautiful uh, late May afternoon, it's uh, very nice out. It's early, early low 70s. It's not too hot. It's cool. It's humid. Well, and it's perfect spring weather. Got an awesome guest tonight to compliment that, a beautiful young lady who's a model. Um, in school, she made a cover of a magazine. We're going to look at that and talk to her. But before we get to her, I've got to read these awesome underwriters, and then we will commence per usual. So, we got New England Floorscapes in Middleborough. We got Crazy Axes Rec Center in Hanover. We got Salon Giovanni in Marshfield. We got Fiesta Chara Family Mexican Restaurant in Carver, right down the road. We got Pembroke Radiator in Pembroke. We got A1's Tire and Auto Center in Brockton. I always look for new service texts and writers. We got Carver Jewels right here in the uh, building. Uh, Lyle A and Ronald A. Delano Goldsmiths. We got Maggie's Cuts in Kingston. We got Genuine's Inspection in Middleborough. We got Main Ingredient Just Good Food in Middleborough. We got Pacini's Pizza in Middleborough. We got they deliver. We got DNS Auto Works in Abington. We got the Gunrunner LLC in Middleborough, dedicated to your Second Amendment rights for customers or friends. We got Ocean Street Auto Repair and Service in Marshfield. I want to thank you guys very much. And on that note, I'll now introduce this young lady. This is Michelle Lupo. She is a model. Um, I found her through Igor Needham, a great photographer. He's sent me many great people to interview. And, uh, you know, she's young. She's in, still in middle school. And uh, so, you know, we're going to talk to her and see what the future holds for this young lady. So, Michelle and your, and your parents are here. Thanks for coming in and doing my show tonight. No problem. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so you're in middle school. What are you, in eighth grade? I'm in seventh grade. Seventh grade, wow. You're, you're why young. That's, uh, you may actually be, I'm thinking, you you possibly, in terms of you know timeline, you may actually be the youngest guest I've ever had on the show, even though I did have a five-year-old on once, but she, but she was on in 2013, so that was nine years ago. So you're probably right, you know, you're really, <laughs> you're really at the, on the low end of the scale, and that's fine. I don't mind. I like having young people and old people on. I can, like I said, I can interview anybody. So, well, tell me about yourself. You, uh, tell me about what you, how you got into modeling. Um, as someone as young as you doing modeling is pretty impressive. So, let's talk about that, and if I have any questions, I'll roll them in. Go ahead. I got into modeling after a lot of people, my family and my friends, encouraged me, saying how I would be a beautiful model and how they think I would be successful. Okay. So I told my parents and I got, they got me into a modeling school. Okay. Two of them and I finished one of them and another one I graduate tomorrow. Congratulations. What a perfect timing for the show. Uh, what modeling schools did you, have you been to or you in or were in? Um, I already graduated Barbizon. Okay. Uh, a modeling school for teens yep. and kids. Uh, and I'm graduating tomorrow from JC Modeling and Acting of Connecticut. Well, that's swell. All the way to Connecticut. Yeah. But you live in Massachusetts, right? Yeah, it's over Zoom. What's it? Oh, okay. Did you do? Uh, did you do all your courses there on Zoom? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's that's incredible. Okay. Um. All right. And so, how long ago did you start doing this? Uh, I started Barbizon, I think, in December. Okay. And Was that the first one? Yeah. Okay. And I. I think I started JC Modeling um, around the beginning of 2022. Okay, so you just started, that's this year. Yeah. So you basically just sort of, you're starting, you're just starting out. Yeah. That's pretty good, so I, I caught you at a good time. So how did you end up on the cover? Hold your magazine up and let's look at it. You got two of them, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's look at one at a time. So hold up, hold it up to the camera. Um, he's got the red light on. Yeah, that's, that's a sweet cover. I saw that on Facebook. That's really nice. Team, what is it? Team Cruise? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, well, how'd you make that cover? How'd you, obviously, so Eagle liked you, the photographer. Yeah. So, at first, I only did um, this one. Yep. And then he recommended me for another one. Okay. So, we did another photo shoot, and I ended up on the cover. I found that out after the photo shoot. Okay. And I just had another one, I think, last month. Cool. And... So you're a cover girl already. Yeah. The young one. Boy, that's a, I mean, even, even, even took Nikki K Taylor to get in her 20s before she was doing that. You're only, what, 12? 13. 13, okay. Yeah. All right. Wow, that's incredible. So uh, that must be pretty impressive. What do your friends think of that at school? I mean, you must they must be, like, pretty impressed by that. Yeah, once I told uh, some of my friends, they started screaming, saying that that's their friend, and they're, so, they're, and they're really proud of me. Well, that's that's incredible. It's nice to have that you know support from your friends. Now, you, so you go to, you do a, you go to public school? Yeah, I go oh. to uh, a public school. Okay. Um, now I assume now I from what I understand now I I actually sat in a modeling school once, 
John Robert Powers, not the ones you were at. But they now they make it a point to, to when they tell their girls that you know that, that they need to have they need to not just do modeling. They have to keep their GPAs up. You obviously, I assume yeah. you're a pretty good student in school, right? Yeah, I have um, all A's and B's. That's good. <laughs> That's better than I was. <laughs> Now, do you do anything else for entertainment? Do you, do you sing, dance, play music? I sing, and I used to do dancing and gymnastics. Okay. And I also do ice skating. Ice skating? Yeah. Okay, so you obviously you look very fit. Um, you belong to a gym? No. You don't? Know? But that's okay. Doesn't, you don't have to belong to a gym to be fit. You just got to keep active, and you obviously are. Okay. Um, what about acting? Have you ever done acting at all? I'm, 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 trying to, I'm trying to throw some ideas by you that might give you some more opportunities, you know, as you get older. I've been in, I think, two plays at school, but other than that, I haven't done any acting. Okay, well, that's it. Well, you, so you did act in plays then? Yeah. Well, what were they? I was the stepmother in Cinderella. Oh, no, the stepmother? I can't yeah. believe you went to the beautiful Cinderella. They must, have, they must have made you up pretty bad for that, huh? Yeah, but, and okay. I was in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, no kidding. Summer camp. Did you, what was it? What, what it wasn't Willy Wonka, right? Uh, yeah. It, oh, okay. Who did you play in that? that those are classics, you know. I played one of Charlie's friends. Okay. Yeah, I saw that many, many years ago. I saw the film many, many years ago. Well, that's incredible. So you did that in school. Did you do that as, at, in your middle school? Um, I did Cinderella in my middle school. Okay. And I did w Willy Wonka at summer camp. Okay. A oh, summer camp? Yeah. Okay. How long? How many years did you go to camp for? I started, I think, four years ago going to that summer camp. Okay. Obviously, so that's pretty awesome that you took advantage of the opportunities that are often that will offer you with the summer camp. That's great. Okay. Well, so now that you're you're in middle school, you're still yeah you have you're an all A and B student. And how often do you, I mean, you obviously have a lot of things going on. You, you, when did you do this model shoot for teen? When did you do that? How long ago? And how long did it take? Um, I, th I did it in April. Okay, so this is, my, this is May. It was last month. Yeah. Okay. And where did you do it? At, at his studio? Uh, I did it in uh, Needham. Oh, uh, Needham, okay. Yeah. Okay, in a studio, right? Yeah. Okay. That must have been wonderful. And when you did it, now what do, you, do you have any idea what the circulation of that magazine is? I mean, it, it's a pretty magazine. I don't, I don't know how many people read it. Is it, on sale, is it on sale like in stores and stuff? Yeah. And, and do you know how far and wide it's, spread, it's distributed? No. Okay. You might want to find out because when you eventually you're going to pad your resume with stuff and you want to, and, and when you, people are going to want to know, you know that's a great magazine to cover, but they're going to want to know how many people saw it. You know, and and I, and, if, and I, I'm, you know, this is something you could, as someone is so young as, you, as yourself, I don't know how you spend your free time when it comes to pr promoting your career, but going around pushing that magazine would be an, would be an awesome thing to do. You know, just go. I, I mean, I don't know. You probably don't have time because you got your studies and you have your, you know your regular life. As someone who's 13, you have, to, you have a lot going on, and you, you know. And I, but do you, now, tell me something. Do you have an agent now? Uh, no. Okay, so who's promoting your work? Just you and your family. Uh, my family and uh, my photographer. And okay, that's that's Igor. Yeah. Okay, he's he's incredible. Okay, now when you when you model for him, do you work with a bunch of girls, or do you just do it yourself? I do it myself. Okay, All right, that's cool. Um, now, do you have a? How did you get? How did you get involved with Igor? How did he find you? Um, he found. Um, he started talking to my mom. Okay. And my mom recommended me to do a photo shoot. Okay. And one led to another. That's awesome. Okay, so and this is all this is all like within the past few months, just the start of this year, and it's going back. Well, December twenty twenty one was when you did your Bob's Line thing, right? Yeah. Now and now, okay. So how long is how long are your courses at both these schools? Um, cor uh, for the JC modeling, it's thirteen weeks. Okay. Um, and the Bob's I think, was five months. Oh, cool. Okay. Now you're still you're still pretty young. Do you? Do you have any plans for the future when you get out of high school? Do you plan to go to college yet? I mean, and I know you're still, you're, I mean, you're not even in high school yet. So, I mean, so uh, when, you go to, when you go to high school, do you have any plans, any aspirations for the school in, in addition to what you're doing now? Do you have any, uh, you know, long-term goals is what I'm getting at here. Uh, I haven't really thought about that. You haven't really yet. thought about it. Okay. All right. Do you like doing other things like writing? Do you ever write anything like poetry or uh, um, scripts? I 
I like to type books on my computer, uh, my school computer, okay. from time to time. Okay. But what do you type? I mean, just put, you just make stuff just up. Like, do you have a diary or anything like that? Uh, I just make fictional stories. Fiction stories. Maybe okay. Sometimes base them on past uh, about history. Oh, good. Okay. You say about history? Yeah. Okay. You like history? Is that you like your favorite subject in school? One of them. One of them. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, history is fascinating, and obviously we're making it right now. Um, okay. So when you when you write though, do you, do you do, now I'm thinking you should definitely keep a diary because you want to you want to have a, a journal for yourself so that you can always be have something to refer to, because people your age and I don't mean that in a condescending way are gonna you know they tend to you get a lot going on and a lot of things you might overlook if you write stuff down if you do a little jotting down every day, at some point in the future you'll be able to look back on stuff that'll be valuable to you I think that's I, I would tell that to anybody that's doing what you're doing, and. Uh, now, do you, when it comes to like posing for modeling, do you, do, do, is that what part of the, the course at the schools were? Teaching you how to pose and what to wear? Yeah, it teaches us how to style clothes okay. and do makeups yep. and get ready for like interviews or photo shoots or auditions. Okay. And by auditions, is that, is it, you, do you have to audition for modeling too? Um, no, that's course was mostly for like auditions for movies and okay so it's all so they actually give they actually give you an opportunity to, to, to uh, you know audition for films as well as modeling yeah. and have you and you haven't done any of that yet right or no. what have you do you plan to at all at uh, some point do you think or don't you know yet I want to do modeling more than acting yeah I see okay I'm not amazing at it Oh, right, yeah, right, that's true. There you go. You got to have that attitude. I'm the, I'm the best, right? Yeah, absolutely. So tell me about the ice skating. What do you, what do you do? Did you see you do ice skating too? Yeah. Okay. Can you do that during the warm weather? I mean, are there rinks that you can go to? Yeah, I go to a rink near my house. You go, I go okay. To the Bach ice rink. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, you, and I, now, are you involved in any kind of comp skating competitively? No, I haven't finished like. All the classes and levels okay. to do it. All right. Because there's some more, like hard and more. Okay. Okay. So, you, so have you, were you were you ever thinking of doing that? Maybe you know trying out for the Olympics? Maybe that possible? Is that because that could that ever be a dream of yours? Maybe not for Olympics, but small competition. No, that, that's cool. Now, have you ever worked with any other photographers besides Igor? Uh, no. Okay. Well. You certainly, you certainly could. I've noticed that, you know, I interview a lot of models and most of them tell me they have, a, you know, like a bucket list of photographers, some, you know, more people they can, that can work with. But no matter what, Eagle will always have been the first one you work with, so, and he's a really good guy and I think, you know, he might be able to help you find more work. Now, at some point, do you want to do this as, as a full-time job? Yeah. Okay. But obviously, you still got your school and that's, that's still a ways off. Okay. All right. Um... So let me see. Uh, let's see. So you, obviously you can't drive. So every every where you go, you have to, you need you need a lift because you're not yeah. driving. You know, driving. You, you, do you make do you make do you have a bike? Do you make the most of that opportunity when you're? I only bike with friends. During yeah, that makes summer. sense. You definitely should only bike with friends. Yeah, oh. but um, mostly my mom and my dad. Okay. Give me rides. Do, do you have friends that model too, or is it or you just? No. Wow. Uh, a couple of friends that I met at my modeling schools. Okay. Well, now you said you did gymnastics too, right? Yeah. But you don't do it anymore. No. Were you? Did, did, I, you didn't get hurt doing them, did you? No. Well, that's good. You just don't care for them. You just not into them like you used to be. No, I am. It's just the session ended at where I used to go, so I'm okay. still looking for other places. Oh, I understand. Okay. Well, so are you, are you ever going to possibly go back to it? Maybe. Yeah, that's cool. How? 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 I'm just curious. I mean, I. <laughs> As someone who's, I mean, I'm in pretty good shape for my age. I'm in my early 60s, but I, I could never, you, you could do a cartwheel if you wanted to, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, I can't see how people can do that. That is so amazing, how somebody can contort their body to just spin around like a, you know, like, like, like a shape, like a shape on a board game, which is pretty much what it is. Uh, well, how did you learn to do that as a kid? Did you just tweet? Did, did, you, did you have a gymnastics coach too growing up? Uh, my sister used to do gymnastics, so oh. she taught me. She's older, gymnastics. right? Six. Yeah. Okay. She's eighteen. She's uh, okay. Cool. Well, all right. So hey, I'd ask her how she learned it. I mean, it's just I guess you just have to practice it. Okay. Um, what's your favorite thing about gymnastics? Do you like the, the parallel bars, the trampoline? I, that's the one thing I probably could do is a trampoline because you can't really screw that up as long as unless you fall on the floor. I like vault. It's, evolved the pole vault, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. 
Wow, that's incredible. Okay. Um, have you ever now? I asked about music. Have you ever? You 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 say you've you've sat, you've done you dance too, right? Yeah. And you sing. You said too. Yeah. Have you ever done like a music video? No, I've only done music videos for like activities at school. Okay. Well, what were, the, what were those like? It was really fun. No, right. But what exactly? What I mean, what exactly did it consist of? What kind of activities? What kind of video did you do? Um, we basically picked out whatever song, like, the whole class agreed to, okay. and then we picked, like, jobs, like, who would lip sync, or okay. who would do, like, dancing, or tricks. Okay, now these were songs, like, the top 40 songs on the radio? No, we usually just, like, picked out our favorite songs, which ones are school appropriate. The songs of what? Uh, which... We're school appropriate. That oh, school appropriate. All oh, right, yeah. Some of the lyrics and songs today are not school appropriate. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, it's not like it used to. When I was in school, you never heard any, you know, any expletives in songs. Now it's now they they have to be bleeped out every every which way. Well, that's good. I mean, they, you know, they 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 keeping they keeping it going. That's what. Now, what about ballet? Do you do any? Did you ever done anything like that? You look like you'd be a good on good in ballet dancing. I used to do jazz and a little bit of ballet. Okay. But I didn't really like it. But you don't you don't really like it. No. Okay. Too slow? Too 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 tiring? Yeah, I just usually like more upbeat. You like upbeat stuff? Yeah, you know, like uh like hip hop maybe? Yeah. Okay. I do hip hop and jazz. And oh, oh you do? Okay. That yeah, that must be pretty good. That must be do you go to school for any of that stuff? For jet for dancing? Uh, no. I go to a studio. Okay. Near my house. Well, you do, oh, but that is that is like a school. Yeah. That's a dance studio. That's you have like so you have personal instruction there. Yeah. And you have and are you? Are you I mean, it's just you one on one, you and the instructor, or do you have other people too? It's uh, other people. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty good. You, can you name the can you name the school? I'm just curious. I the, think it's A C. If they can't, that's fine. I think it's like A C D C or something. Okay. After the band. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, okay. Now, um, they say you don't belong to a gym, but do you, you work out every day? Do you jog? Do you do any, you know, calisthenics aside from... I have gym at school. And oh, yeah, that's sometimes true. Sometimes I work out a little bit in my room. Okay. Or in the living room. Wow, that's, that's pretty good. And working out at home is the best. It really is, because you're not, you're not against, you know, you're not having to compete with other people and everything. Now, obviously, your family's very supportive of you. That's, that's yeah. incredible. You have, uh, you brought your parents today, and you have two brothers? Uh, I have my parents... One sister and one brother. Oh, I thought I saw. It. Okay, I don't, I don't know. I saw three or four people walking in the door, and I lost track. That's cool. Okay. Um, so you know, so right now you're at the point in life you you love what you're doing, but you're not exactly sure what you what your plans are for the future. Now, yeah. I you say you have an audition for any films, even though they've given you the opportunity, no, right? Okay. I haven't. Now, do you plan to at all at some point? Uh, maybe a couple times. But you don't know when yet, right? You just have to see no, something, that, the project that looks good. Yeah. You know what I suggest you might want to try doing is, do you, are you familiar with Boston Casting and CP Casting? They're the, they're, they're just, they're, you might want to just send them an email. Give them, give them your, your picture, your, you know, your eye color, your hair color, your, your dimensions, all that stuff. Because there might be opportunities in addition, in, in addition to, your, to the modeling schools for you as well. That you could take advantage of, you know, that you might see. I mean, I'm a, I'm on Boston Casting's mailing list. They haven't sent me too much, but I did actually get to participate in the studio audience of a game show once, and I made about a hundred dollars. So, and you know, because I'm on their mailing list, and I went to their 25th anniversary party a few years ago too. So you want to, I mean, you want to get yourself out there. Now, have you ever, would you ever think of possibly looking to get find yourself an agent in addition to you, you know, or you, or are you just happy the way yeah, you are now with some? I have a modeling competition next week in Texas. Oh, really? Talk about that. How many people are you going down to Texas? Where? What part of Texas? Um, Dallas. Cool. That's the best. That's from what I understand. That's the they get the best models there because they get the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Would you? Would you? Are you eventually going to be maybe a cheerleader for the Patriots or one of the? No. Sports teams, you don't care about that? I care about it. I just don't really think it's my passion. It's not your thing. It's not my okay. thing. Well, tell me about the competition. How many people are going down there? You know, how many people uh, are going to be there? I don't know. You don't know? But you want, when is it? This weekend? Uh, next week. Okay. Wow. But, so it's on a weekend because you, you yeah. can't miss. Well, of course, school's going to be ending soon. Yeah. Right. So are you going to be like out of school before you go? Uh, no, I'm still going to be in school. Are you still going to be in school? So, so, how, so how are you going to swing that? Are you just going to go on a weekend? Um, we're just going to take some time off. and Friday, okay. and I think we're getting back on Monday. All right, so it is the weekend. 
Yeah. That's wild. Um, do you know how much coverage this, the, 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 uh, the, the meat's getting? I mean, is it going to be on televised somewhere, you think? I don't know. Okay. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to figure out why they wouldn't give you more information because you figure you want to, I mean, they, I mean, when you get there, they're, they're going to give you all kinds of, you know, things, if, protocol to follow, where you, you know, how many people are going to be included, what, you're going to probably have a number to do, you know, and you're going to have a bunch of routines that they're going to ask you to do, and you don't even know any of that stuff, right? Uh, they gave us a schedule. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So you have it, right? So you do have a schedule. You just don't happen to have it with you. No. Okay. Well, definitely you're bringing that with you, right? You're bringing your magazines to show them what you can do. Okay. That's going to be great. So I assume there's probably going to be people from all over the country there. If they, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Is this, the, is this going to be the first competition you've ever done? Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad. I'm hoping, you know, you, you break a leg because that's what, that's what my show is for. And hopefully by the time you go... It, the show will be out and some maybe the people running the competition can see it and see how many other people down there have done a show like this <laughs> that'll be that'll be incredible so you know have you have, do you know how to like twirl a baton you twirl a baton do any of that stuff uh no you don't want to do any of that you know so you know so you're never going to be like it's you're not going to i know you're not going to be cheerleading for a sports team but when you get into high school you're not going to try cheerleading at all you don't think no i don't think so you're just not into it you're just not into, okay that's fine. I don't know. I can just see. I just see people doing that, and they just modeling and chilling and kind of go together. But if that's not your thing, um, all right. Well, what other? What other? Do you have any other hobbies? Do you like? Do you create art at all? Do you like painting, drawing? I like drawing. Okay. And sketching at my friends or just random things I see. Doing what? I just sketch maybe like my friends. Okay. Or things I see outside. That's cool. Some you know someday you might be able to make a career out of doing that too. Yeah. So oh, okay, you like outdoor, you like the outdoors. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, do you like like going out and hiking in the mountains and doing stuff like that? You know. I go on walks, but I don't hike. You know, you, you, yeah, I know walks. You got to be careful. I know it's true. It's crazy. It's a crazy world. All right. Um, all right. So, uh, you going to Dallas? Do you have anything else coming up in the summertime? You know, in terms of modeling and other you know and activities. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to summer camp, but oh, oh okay. Are you going to do more acting there? Hopefully. Okay, so so how this is going to be your fifth year, you said, right? Yeah. So you were pretty young when you started there. You were like nine, or eight or nine. Wow. Same camp all five years. Yeah. Wow. But well, what is it about the camp that you like so much? It's just um, people there are cool. a lot of people that I met there that keep going. Um, okay. There are a lot of activities and counselors. Okay. And. It's just a really fun camp to go to. Cool. Okay. Is it a, is it an overnight camp or is it a day camp? Uh, it's a sleepaway camp. Okay, sleep over. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Well, guess what, uh, Michelle? We're under the, we're down to the final five minutes. We made the half hour go by, and I hope we covered as much about you as we could cover. Mm -hmm. So, like I told you at the beginning, what I'd like you to do is look at the camera, give shouts out to your friends and your family members. You can look, at, and they're right there too. You can thank them for bringing you here today. I thank them already. You can do it. Um, and then we'll wrap the show up the way we began it with my music right here. So. Hi. Hi, Shala. Hi, Kinley. <laughs> hey, Nicole. Hey, Danik. Yeah. Cool. That's so cool. Typical teenage. I know. That's awesome. Okay. So if now, so there's really nothing on the horizon other than the, the meet in Dallas that's that's yeah. that's coming up. Any summer camp. All right. Well, if you had a good time with me, um, I know I don't know how many p people you know that do modeling. I, I don't know how many p people you worked with. I know you you said you've never worked with anyone else with Igor. It's just you and him, basically, right? Yeah. Because I was going to say to you, if you have anybody else that you know that does modeling or anything like that, with anyone with an interesting story to tell, I'm always looking for new guests. I'm getting a lot of them through word of mouth. So have them contact me, and we'll set up a time and we can get them in here or one of my other locations where I do the show. Hi. Okay, so I, I mean, I, I hope you had fun. I hope you covered. If there's anything you want to mention that you didn't mention, feel free before we wrap it up. No, that's fine. Okay, well, I mean, you did a great job, and I thank you for coming in. And you, you, and I hope I hope you weren't too nervous, or if you were, I hope he calmed yeah. you down. And I hope you guys were okay too. All right, and on that note, so we're gonna wrap the show up. You ready to? If you want to go, you want to snap along, you can. If not, that's fine too. All right, folks, thanks for watching Topic Time. More great episodes to follow. See you next week. Take care. Bye bye.